always the one, dude. When they get ready to introduce the girl. Good evening, sports fans, and welcome to another exciting edition of High School Sports here on your high school sports leader, Oregon Sports Beat. Tonight from the gym at Central Catholic High School, it's 6A Mount Hood Conference Girls Volleyball featuring the Central Catholic Rams and the David Douglas Scots. Hi, everybody. I'm Dave Hall. I'll be doing the play-by-play, -play, working with me, my broadcast partner, Steve Roberts. Steve, tonight is senior night, and so we're going to have a little... Uh, celebration before we start for the two seniors on the uh, Rams team and uh, of course that's McKenna Jackson and Kalani Rosa and also want to let everybody know between the second and third sets tonight we're going to showcase a couple of players and that's Sophia Cooper and Elliot Bush plus I'm going to have a little bit of information about the freshman player on the team Delaney nice. Williams nice. I talked to her so we'll pick up our PA Can announcer to do the introduction of the two seniors. I want to thank these student athletes for all their hard work and dedication throughout the last four years here at Central Catholic. We want to especially thank the parents and families for their encouragement and continual support of their sons and daughters, our athletic programs, and our Central Catholic community. Now, let's introduce these student athletes and their families. First up this evening, McKenna Jackson. Her mom, Ann Jeanette, Grandma Dean, Brother Jamin, and boyfriend John. Sisters in law, Jess and Ashley, and Aunt Ike. McKenna is a two year varsity starter for the Rams, joining the program in 2019 as a transfer from Columbia River High School in Washington. She's been one of the top middles in the state. Her quick arm, solid block, and ability to do the splits while digging a ball set her apart. Some of her most notable season stats for this season include 15 blocks and 74 kills. <laughs> McKenna brings so much energy to the court, no matter which team gets the point, we can always count on her to throw her arms up in the air and cheer loudly to keep the momentum going. When she's not playing volleyball, McKenna likes to spend time with her hobbies, painting and drawing. Next year, she'll attend the University of Idaho, playing volleyball, and hoping to major in psychology with a minor in criminology. McKenna shared that she has so many memorable moments from her time at Central Catholic, but the highlight of this year is getting to play her senior season and be out on the court. Ladies and gentlemen, McKenna Jackson. Our second senior this evening, Kalani Rosa. Her dad, Charlie, mom, Anne Marie, sister, Kalia, and aunt, Sean. Kalani's a four year varsity starter for the Rams, earning all conference honors on first and second teams in 2017, 18, and 19. She was also named in 2017 and 19 to the All-State Honorable Mention Team. Kalani's been one of the top setters in the state, and this season stepped into a new role as libero. Some of her most notable season stats for this season include 21 aces, 91 digs, 22 assists, and 4 kills. As a team captain and veteran on the team, she leads the team not only by example with her solid work ethic and tenacity, but with enthusiasm and positivity as well. Kalia is very involved with club volleyball and also enjoys art and hanging out with friends and family. Next year, she's going to be taking a year off of school. She plans to return to the classroom and volleyball in the fall of 2022 and hopes to become a podiatrist. Kalia shared some that some of her favorite memories from her four years at Central Catholic Volleyball include going to the state tournament, joking with Coach Malcolm, team bonding trips, and getting yelled at by Rick Lorenz. 
Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Kalani Rosa. All right, that's our senior celebration for tonight. Two senior players on the Central Catholic Rams, McKenna Jackson and Kalani Rosa. If you'll remember the first week we did uh, highlighted players, we highlighted McKenna Jackson, and the second week we highlighted Kalani Rosa's, uh, I'm sorry, Kalani time, Rosa. Like a couple of stats I heard from them. Uh, McKenna Jackson had 74 kills on the year. I noticed that uh, Kalani Rosa had 91 digs. Wow. <laughs> so those are some pretty impressive figures. Tonight it's the Central Catholic Rams and the David Douglas Scots. Let me give you a couple of uh, interesting stats. Bless them on their journey ahead so that their lives are fruitful and full. And remember that they are always in your loving care and in your presence. Amen. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Go Rams. All right. A couple. Of, I was going to tell Steve a couple of things. One, uh, McKenna Jackson's headed to Idaho on a scholarship. But listen to this. Not only are the Central Catholic Rams undefeated, they have only lost two sets all year and that was in the first week to Clackamas when they won that match three to two they have not lost a set since then I'm and they were pretty excited when I asked them tonight were they going to keep that going they said <laughs> yes they have two matches left in the regular season okay. this is the last home game next week they'll be on the road and they face two of the top teams in the state West Lynn and Jesuit okay so nice nice yeah, I, I remember from the beginning of the season, we could see that improvement in that intensity. Uh, every game, they were, they were either more sharp, more, more on target, more options they were using. Uh, you know, so it, I can see that they're peaking. They're getting, this is the right time for them to peak and get up there. I was talking with head coach Kayla Hambly beforehand, and I said to her, wow, you're going to end up the season with two of the powerhouses. And she pretty much said, well, that's the way it should be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you know, good athletes, good coaches, they, they want to be there. They, want, they, they, they really look forward to playing the best team. All right, David Douglas Scott, their head coach is Janine Rainey, of course, the head coach for the Central Catholic Rams. That's Kayla Hambly. While we got a chance, I'll tell you the story about Delaney Williams. I mentioned to Coach Hambly, she always makes a couple of players available, and I said, could, could I ask a uh, Delaney Williams a couple of questions she said sure and Delaney came over she, very very impressive uh, speaker she had a lot of poise she's a freshman mm -hmm. and I asked her first about you know you're the freshman on the team how's that uh, how's that going this year she said everybody's been so helpful and she said they I really feel at home on the team and I've you know I, all the girls have been so good. nice to me good so I said to her I want to take you back a week to the Clackamas game <laughs> And I said, remember the second set, Rams were up 20 to eight when you went back to serve. And I said to her, what was on your mind when you went back to serve 20 to eight? And she said, you know, I'm so focused on serving. I didn't think anything. I just wanted to get my <laughs> serve in. And I said, after you got that first serve in, at any point in time to just say to yourself, wow, I could serve out for the <laughs> set here. She kind of smiled and, and said, uh, you know, that thought might have crossed my mind. <laughs> and I said, it had to be pretty exciting when you did. She said, yeah, that was really exciting. Good deal, good deal. Yeah, Central Catholic has done a nice job getting lots of players on the court, uh, lots of options. Everybody's been contributing. Every player has contributed in the matches that we've seen so far this year. And I expect to see pretty much everybody play tonight. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not saying that David Douglas is one of the powerhouse teams in the Mount Hood Conference, but let's see if they give the Rams a good matchup tonight. 
You know, I'm sure the Rams want a good matchup. You know, you always want to have a good, good hard-fought game going into your postseason. So. And again, I'll let everybody know, between the second and third period, we'll give you some information. We've been highlighting players and showcasing them, and tonight it'll be Elliot Bush and Sophia Cooper. Elliot Bush is a junior, Sophia Cooper a sophomore. Thanks for joining us here on Oregon Sports Beat. We still have a lot of sports lined up this week. You can go to our website, OregonSportsBeat.com. We have a couple of football games Saturday. Saturday night, we're going to cover the American Futsal League. It's a professional league. The West Coast teams are, are Portland, Los Angeles, Albuquerque, and Phoenix. They'll be playing at the uh, Oregon Premier Futsal in Oregon City that match. So we'll cover that live. All right, we're just about ready to get this one underway. We're gonna have we're gonna have the introduction of the players. All right, we're introducing the uh, David Douglas Scott. Number five, Brooke Lee. Number six. Steve, I guess I have to do a disclaimer before we start this match. Both of my daughters graduated from David Douglas. That's right. I remember you telling me that. Number nine, Bianca Fox. Number ten, Terry Whitlow. Number eleven, Aspen Pierce. Number 12, Alexis Tomey. Number 13, Felicia Franco. Number 14, Rose Benador. Number 16, Alex Mann. And number 17, Ava Piper. All right, Next, that's uh, the Scots. And now, here are your Central Catholic Rams. All right, introduction of the Rams players. Number two, Rosa. Rosa the senior. Number four, Renee Tassin. Number five, Emily Hager. Number seven, Elizabeth Kern. Number eight, Mia Starr. Number nine, McKenna Jackson. McKenna Jackson, the other Number senior. Number 10, Sophia Cooper. Number 11, Elliot Bush. Number 12, Reagan Zuckerman. Number 13, Alicia Wilson. Number 14, Maya Parnell. And number 15, Delaney Williams. Head coach of the Rams, Kayla Hamley. She's assisted by assistant coach, Joe Rivelli. Tonight's officials, Sandy Stanley and Robert Wise. Now we invite everyone to please stand and remove your hats for the singing of our national anthem. Performed this evening by Kaylea Rosa.
Well, all right. You can't get much better than that for singing the national there anthem. There we go. There we go. Wow. Lots of talent in this gym tonight. Right. The Central Catholic Rams, the David Douglas Scots, 6A Mount Hood Conference <laughs> volleyball action. Rams are undefeated. They've lost two sets all year, and that was in the first game of the season when they beat Clackamas 3-2. to two. Rams won the first set, lost the next two, and then won the last two to pull that win out and have not lost a set since then. Rams in the maroon jerseys, gold trim, gold numbers. David Douglas, the red and black. Red jerseys, black shorts, black numbers. Libro for the Central Catholic Rams. Number two, Kehlani Rosa in the white. Up front for the Rams, you can see Mia Starr, Alicia Wilson, and McKenna Jackson. Lauren Stemple up there in the front. Boy, she is a setter supreme. First serve, here we go. Rams, they set it up for Jackson. And that is out just long. Scots take a one to nothing lead. Serving for the Scots, number five, Brooke Lee. Stemple gonna set it up on the outside, the hard hit that time. And that is by Alicia Wilson. Alicia did a nice job of picking a spot there, splitting two players on David Douglas. What was interesting, the server that time for David Douglas walked up to the line and hit that serve flat-footed, mm -hmm. no jump serve. Stemple on the serve. They're gonna set that up. Jackson just tips it over. <laughs> she wound up like she was gonna really hit that <laughs> one. Then just did a nice little um, tip of the ball there. Pushing it off of a David Douglas player. Two to one Rams. <coughs> Lauren Stemple on the serve. <laughs> Left handed serve from Stemple. Gonna set this up, the little tip saved by Rosa. They set that up. The star got it back over the net. And Rams save that one. Rose is going to set it up on the outside. There's a little dink. Douglas manages to get that. Rams still keep the ball in play. Rose sets it up again. This time from the outside, a hard hit. That time, that was Bush. Elliot Bush again. A nice volley going on there. Girls both sides keeping the ball live for a while there. Central Catholic came up with an opportunity to hit. A little bit short on that, though. Two to two, <coughs> Douglas serving. This is Alexis Tomey. Star, Rosa sets it up for Star. Stemple gonna set it up on the outside mm. and a long hit by Wilson. Three to two, Scott's lead. Again, Alexis Tomey to serve into the net. Point Rams, three to three. Wilson checks out, Renee Tasson checks in, and we know what a good server she is. She will pick a spot. She has shown us she can go deep, she can go short. They're giving her that open court in the middle there. Wherever it is, she'll find it. Rosa with the dig, Stemple with the setup, Jackson the tip. Another free ball there. Stemple gonna set it up on the outside for Bush. Scott's dug that out. Oh, nice what a dig. nice save that time by Tasson. Tasson, Stemple. Caught a lift there on the set. 
Point Scots, four to three. On the service now for the Scots, Alex Mann, number 16. Early on, first set action, four to three, Scots lead. Bush. <laughs> We're gonna showcase Elliot Bush we, we, and Sophie that, that, That's a replay play there, boy. She came down hard down the line. There was no doubt on that hit that she was gonna kill it. I told her this story about me playing baseball and I'd rather face a pitcher <laughs> than face her. A little tip saved by Cass and McKenna Jackson sets it up and there's a tip. Off of David Douglas. Point Rams. McKenna Jackson's gonna serve. Hard serve. That just, okay, yeah. that hit the back line and just went right on by. Six to four Rams. Bush and Cooper both told me that over the summer they both got way stronger last year. Mm -hmm. Tassin, nice. Stemple uh, sets it up hard. Nah. Oh. That play started back here with that pass from Tassin. She was able to get that ball to the setter. Setter didn't have to move her feet much, and she was able to get a very nice set off. Cooper on that hit up front for the Rams. <laughs> it's Star, Cooper, and Bush. Jackson on another serve. And that's the end. Oh, man. Scott's let that go, and it dropped in. You know, Eight to four. Came a nice serve across the court. Had a lot of good speed on it. Boy, Jackson hits the ball hard on the serve. Boy. Bush hit that so hard, the defender on the back yeah, line. She's filling it today, she's filling it today. Wow. That's like two or three she's got down there, got good power behind the ball and driving it. Nine to four. And that ball was served so hard, it could not return it. Cooper, McKenna Jackson on the serve. 10 to four, boy, she's just hitting the ball so hard from the service line. Yeah, David Douglas is playing the ball off to the sides, and when those fast ones come in like that, it's very hard to get your arms angled at the right place to make a good pass on it. And she's putting a lot on those serves. Wow. Yeah. All right, Scott's coach is talking that over. It takes a little while sometimes for the Rams to get warmed up. Games are usually close up to that five point mark and then all of a sudden we see a run. They need to get in a rhythm and they've got it going right now. They, they did, they found, they found who's, who's on. Well the serves from McKenna Jackson have been like that one. Yeah. And that one's out, it's point to the Scots. Jackson tried to go into the right hand side that time, 10-5. Yeah. Serving for the Scots, number 11, Aspen Pierce. They set it up, the little dink. Scots put, keep that in play, but make a dive and it goes off of the player. Point Rams and Mia Starr drops back to serve, another hard server, 11-5 Rams. Star sets it up, Bush, wow, that was so hard. And that's a point for the Rams. Scott's hit it into the net, 12-5. Second serve for Star. Star's gonna set it up, Bush. Good dig there by David Douglas. Good dig. Star sets it up, Bush again. Mia Star sets those plays up for Elliot Bush and she and hammers Bush, it. Bush has got a good swing going tonight. She's putting the ball down, she's mixing it up. 
13-5 Rams. Nice block that time by Cooper. Starr sets it up, and there's a hit by Bush. Mia Starr on a run for the serve, 14-5. And that nice hit out of bounds by the Scots, 15-5. She did a good job getting that ball to drop in front of that middle back player, and the back player was reaching for it a little bit too much. She's got to move her feet a little bit more. Again, if you haven't seen during the season, those two people at the sides of the court are sterilizing the ball after every play. Tassin, Rosa keeps it up. There's Bush, a little tip, and in. 16-5. That's some good court presence there. She was able to see that open spot and she just tipped it there. After hitting so much, it really took him off guard. Mia Starr on a run. That one drops. Nice. And boy, that ball just took a nose dive. Yeah, she did a nice job coming across the court on that one. 17-5, seven straight points for Mia Starr on the serve. Emily Hager checks in, Stemple checks out. 17-5 Rams. Star is gonna set it up, Bush, and it drops, 18-5. Another timeout here, coach wants to break this serve if she can. <clears throat> Stars were off eight straight points on the serve. It was 10-5 when she went back there. It's 18-5 now. Thanks for joining us here on Oregon Sports Beat, bringing you live Central Catholic volleyball action. Rams are doing a nice job of mixing up the serves, placing that ball all around on the court, and good court presence and good eyesight there by the Rams to find some open spots and get some easy points. We've, we've pointed this out before, but the Rams serve so deep that the setter back there is just trying to get the ball forward and not get far enough forward, whereas the Rams, you can see, they get that ball right up to the net for the Stemple yeah. or one of the other setters to get it up right there at the net where the, where the outside hitters can really just blast it. Yeah, you're... Oh, you're so right, David. They 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 send, send that ball deep, get it to those back row passers. Those back row passers have to make some good digs because they got such speed on it to get that ball up to the setter without her having to move too much. Exactly. Star on the serve again. A nice long hard serve. Star is going to set it up on the outside. The little tip. Scott's managed to save that one. A block. The net, I believe. Yes. Net on the Scots, point for the Rams, 19-5. Boy, that ball took Make another sure. nose yes. dive. Yes. I don't know what star puts top spin on that, but when it comes over, it's going pretty hard, and then all of a sudden you just drop. Yeah. It's like an overhand curve ball. They, they, sometimes they get a nice top spin on it. Um, 20 to five, there's a ball, that's gonna drop in. Point Scotts. It was blocked and then just kind of dropped short of Kehlani Rosa, yeah. 20 to six. It'll be service for the Scots. Back there to serve for the Scots. Number 13, Felicia Franco. Oh, that no, ball three. dropped in. Yeah. That ball didn't have a lot of speed on it, but it went straight down and dropped yeah. in an ace for Franco. Nice down, nice top spin on that ball. Took it over the net and just dropped down. Central Catholic will adjust and won't play so short. That service is out. 21 to seven. I think the Rams were anticipating a harder serve that time. That, yeah. uh, that ball dropped yeah. in. They were a little bit deep there. And that ball blocked, blocked up there by Sophia Cooper. 
22 to seven. Elliot Bush on the serve. Hard serve again. Wilson sets that up and way up in the air. Still in play. Scott's get it over the net. They'll set it up on the outside. Nice, nice, nice. Getting some young players in here, getting some nice hits there. That was Elliot Bush though on the on the kill. 23-7. And Bush on the serve. Block and drops back. Drops back into the Rams court. 23 to eight now. Checking in for the Rams, number seven, Elizabeth Kern. She's a sophomore. Coach making sure she gets a lot of players and playing time here and wants to have that depth in there when going into this postseason. Serving for the Scots. <clears throat> Number one. Set that up, there's a hard hit. Oh, long. I think that might have been, no touch, okay. Long hit that time. Yeah. That was Renee Zuckerman. Here's the serve. Rosa digs it out. They're going to set it up. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Cooper on the hit that time. No chance to return that. Yeah, they do a nice job of hitting the ball cross court, finding some gaps there, making that back row work hard. We're at set point. Rosa on the serve, 24 to 9. Oh, nice hit that time by the Scots, number 16. She did a nice left-handed hit that time, found exactly. a gap there, very nice. Alex Mann on the hit, left-handed, point for the Scots, 24 to 10. Brooke Lee on the serve. Flat-footed with the serve. And long. 24-11. Scott's with a couple of points. Brooklyn on the serve. Set up. That little dink that time. Scott's able to keep it in play. Nice dig that time. Scott's Ooh. dug out a couple that time. Yep. Rosa. Scott's doing a good job of here of keeping this in play. And <laughs> Jackson, with all that strength, jumps up and just tips it over for the set. <laughs> Did a nice job. She did a nice job adjusting on that. You see a little bit far off the net. The serve was close to the net, so she just went for the dink and did a nice job there. All right, first set goes to the Rams, 25-11. David Douglas did a nice job in that first match, scrapping around, keeping that ball alive many times to keep to get some get a couple of points there. Rams showed what they're made of, many different options. They went to their deep serve, short serves. They used long hits, short hits. Many players got on the court. Right, Coach Hambly's playing a lot of players. We are at the gym at Central Catholic High School. Rams undefeated this year. I mentioned two games left, both on the road, West Lynn and Jesuit. Hope you were able to join us Tuesday night when we did the boys' soccer game with the Rams. The Rams scored a goal 
in the last 30 <laughs> seconds of that game to win that one, one to nothing. And boy, was it a go. It was an interesting go there that time. Rams beat Reynolds, so one to nothing in the last 30 seconds on a corner kick that uh, the goalie jumped up and it hit his hands and he kind of dropped it. And as he did, one of the Rams players headed it into the goal. Yeah. Yeah, I think it, it was actually a heads up play on the goalie. I think it was falling into the net and he didn't have control, so he kind of right. batted it out. But there was a Ram there. All right, we'll get the second set started here. Rams won the first, 25 11. Well, I just took a look down there, Steve, and well, one thing I see, Kilani Rosa, number two, the Libro, doesn't have the white jersey on. She's got a regular jersey on. Yeah, it looks like they put Tassin in as a Libro on this match oh, here. Yeah, there we go. I was, I missed her standing over there. They she, got Kilani there. She looks like she's in the front row right now. Maybe, maybe they're going to, coach is going to give her an opportunity to do some hitting tonight. All right, so they made the change. Tassin now is at the Libro. And Kehlani Rosa is on the front line along with uh, McKenna Jackson and, and Mia Starr. Yeah. And, and Elliot Bush in the game too. So the serve is gonna go to Lauren Stemple. She's got that great left-handed serve. I, I think we'll see a pretty strong team here. I, I think we're looking at some players that'll be filling spots for next year too. Rams only gonna lose those two seniors. Jackson and Rosa, big losses. Boy, they got a lot of great young players. Stemple gonna set it up. The hit, boy, that was a hit by Rosa. She got I, I up don't on know the, who, she, he's calling Rosa into the net. She got a chance to uh, go for a kill and she let it go. Yeah, she, she saw the um, Doug, David Douglas players, but he called it on her. I think they both were kind of close to the net. So one to nothing. Douglas, they led the first set one to nothing. Mm -hmm. But you the see, big point then was Rosa once got up to hit. You saw that. That's why she did. Star ran off nine straight points on the service. Stemple, and again, Jackson tips it over the no, net. Calling it a, a lift. Two to nothing, Scots. Serving for the Scots, it's Alexis Tomey. Star, not gonna be able to save that. Jackson tried. Went wide, it went right into where the chairs are. Yeah. There was no way Jackson was gonna be able to get to that. Three to nothing, Scott's off to a lead. Star, Ooh. tipped back over the net. And nice. that's gonna oh. be the ball. Nice idea there. Four to nothing, Scott. Tommy on the serve, four to nothing, Scott. Stemple sets it up. Again, tipped over the net by Jackson, uh, and that drops in. A little bit of miscommunication there on David Douglas. Four to one Rams. And Rosa will go back to serve. Jackson the tip, she's got a scholarship to play volleyball at Idaho next year. And a great block that there we go. time. Jackson on the block. Yeah, Central Catholic making a statement with that block there, you know, after David Douglas ran off a few points, they wanted to make a statement and boy did they do that. Star, Jackson and Bush up front on the block. Stemple, Rosa sets it, there's the hard hit, blocked back. Rams still with the ball in the hit. Oh. Bush tried to dink it over and it was short. Yeah, she was looking for a spot over there on the right side of the court. Far side of the court. Five to two, Scott's lead. I served at them by the Scots. 
Jackson doesn't waste any time that time. Yeah. She unloaded on a hit from the outside. Yeah. Came there, paused a bit, making sure that serve got to the right spot, and then she just released on it. Jackson serving, she served well in the first set. Those hard serves like that one. That's going backwards. Scott's get it over. Ooh. Rams oh, net, saved that. Yeah. Net though on the Scott. Okay. Five yeah. to four, Scott's lead. Net on the Scott, coach. David Douglas coach signaling to the ref. He thought that was a push there. Jackson, boy, that's a hard hit, but into the net. Yep. Jackson fired up. She, she <laughs> served that into the net and was mad at herself. Mm -hmm. All right, Scott serving. This is Alex Mann. Rosa. They set it up over the net. Oh, into the net. Yeah. Seven to four, Scott. Rams won the first set, 25-11. Seven four Scots here in the second set. Stemple going to set it up. Rosa sets it up. Star on the hit that time. And Jackson saves that. Up in the air, Stemple gets it over the net. Star's gonna have to get that over, mm -hmm. she does. Oh, nice save by Rosa. And oh. push goes long. <laughs> A nice volley there, nice save. Both teams keeping the ball alive, waiting for an opportunity. David Douglas comes back with a hit. It's Doug. Central Catholic sets it up. And Rams want to take a timeout. Timeout Time out on the court, second set. Rams won the first. This set, Scott's lead, eight to four. Yeah, you know, this is actually a good, good, good situation here for the Rams to play through this. They want to make sure they have this kind of experience going into the postseason. So we'll see what, this, what adjustments coach will make here on the Rams. Give them a little pep talk there, you know, settle them down. And then um, we'll see how they come back here after this timeout. David Doug was very excited. They did a nice job keeping the ball alive, having some long volleys there and coming up with some points. All right, just about ready. Eight to four, Scott's lead in the second set. Rams head out. The serve. Rosa Stemple sets it. Oh. Bush winds up and lets that fly. Well, you know, Rams came out. You know, they had to call a timeout. You know, they're going to come out trying to make a statement here. You know, you're going to see some hard hitting. You're going to see some smart digging. You know, some dinks, everything. They're going to mix it up. Star on the serve. She had nine straight points on the serve in the first set. Jackson saves that one, Star sets it, Bush. Into the net, point Rams, eight to six. Mia Star, the sophomore on the serve. Blocked. What a save by Bush, Stemple. Stemple on the hit and the point. Eight to seven, Scott's lead. Both teams doing a nice job of digging balls that normally would be would be hit the floor, but they've been doing a nice job keeping the ball alive during this match. And Scott's get that over the net. And that's a point. Mm -hmm. Great tip that time by Bush. 
8-8 now. Rams have run off four straight. Mia Starr in the serve. She ran off nine straight points in the first set. Four points here. Nice drop. That's oh. a drop. Great drop serve that time. It's, it's, it's deceitful after having the ball come at you so fast, and then when she comes up with that, that soft serve that just kind of drops in there, makes it difficult for those back Rams players. first lead at 9-8. Nice save that time by Rosa. Jackson, star, outside Bush. Hit it so hard it came back across the net. Nice left hander there, took him by surprise. Stemple that time on the hit. 10 to eight Rams. But Stemple there able to reach back and grab a set um, and get something on it. Took him by surprise with that left hand. Yep, Stemple left handed, you know. It's a little, gotta make an adjustment there. Jackson with a nice save from the back line. Bush again on a hard hit. Boy, Elliot Bush is really on. Rosa saves it, star sets it, Bush, and in. <laughs> Bush is having a night. She's we're, having a night, she's putting that ball away. We're yes. gonna feature her at the end of the second set and we'll tell you a little bit about her, but wow, is she on tonight. Star. Nice dig that time by the Scots, and that's in. Point Scots, 11-9, Rams lead. This is uh, Rose's fourth year with the team, and she's made the all-conference team or honorable mention, mention yes. every year so far. One of the top um, setters, liberal players in the state, I think they, they said. I think so. She's going to take a year off after graduation. Nice save by Stemple. Star sets it up. The hard hit. And that is... That's out. Yeah. A little bit long there. Nice job. Nice way to go cross court. 11-10 Rams lead. On the serve for David Douglas is number four, Angelina Acosta. And nice um, tip that time. Way to mix it up. That's what one of the things the Rams do best is they know when to mix it up. They find those blockers coming up and nobody behind them. They'll dink it right over them. Star that time with the tip, 12-10. Just saved that one. Star gets it back over the net. Nice recovery. And that goes long. Point Rams, 13-10. Bush is gonna serve. Star saved that, they'll set it up. Stemple, the left-hander blocked, yeah. blocked and drops in. Nice, nice play by the Scott. David Douglas did a nice job there setting up. Getting a block there, back row had moved up. 13-11. Scott's. Keep it in play. Star gonna set it. Bush that's, the hard that's, hit. That's a back row hit there. That's a nice job. Star saves that one. Star with a hit. And hit right yeah, back yeah. underneath the net. 14-11, Scott. All right, Renee Tassin gonna take the serve. We know what a good server she is. 14-11, right. Rams. Mm. Okay. Point Rams. 
Jackson up for the block, I was worried whether that was in the net or not. Yeah, I thought she might have been over the net on that one, and with the second ball, they still have one more touch. Tassin. Nice, and nice. Ace, she dropped that right in front of the back line. That's right. 16-11, Rams. You know, she'll read it again. She'll see, are they still playing me deep? Maybe they pulled up, so maybe I'll go long. She's got great touch on the and ball. She, she does goes go long. <laughs> Boy, yeah, they were setting that one up. You could see that <laughs> coming when Star set it up and Jackson started forward. Yep. And she picked her spot and just zeroed it. She did. She did. You know, one thing I noticed this time, uh, Jackson played back row and did a really nice job passing there. She did a really nice job in the back row, nice showing her versatility. Nice job setting too. Yeah. She did a nice job. They've of, been playing a couple of players in a little different spots. Yeah. I Star has been back there setting, and so uh -huh. has. Jackson, but it's 17-11, Rams lead. <coughs> Rosa was up on the front line for a little bit. Rams were behind, if you remember, eight to four. Mm -hmm. They now lead 17-11. They've run off 13 points to three for the Scots. Renee Tassin on the serve. Boy, she yeah, picks her she spot. Nice job. Yep. You know, that ball hangs and it drops. That back row kind of freezes. They don't move their feet up and then they find themselves reaching for it. Back row hit it into one of the uh, Middle row player, 18-11, yes. Tassin on serve again. Now she Hard goes deep, win. yep. <laughs> and that's going to be a point for the Rams. That actually hit the basketball standard up there, but that's in play. Yep. Tassin going to send that forward. Mm -hmm. Star right is going to set it. Jackson. Yeah, yeah. Scott's got a hand up on it, but that ball was hit so hard. Yeah, another another quick set there for Jackson. 20 to 11. Delaney Williams checks into the game. She's the freshman. By the way, when I interviewed her, you wouldn't guess she was a freshman. Star going to set it up. They hit. Scott still got it in play. They're going to send it back. Star will set it again to Jackson. <laughs> Scott's managed to dig that one out. Tasson set it up again for Jackson. <laughs> and Jackson's not going to waste another one. She no, just, she's not. Pounded that, 21-11. They're, they're, they're good blockers are in the back row, and so Jackson says, "I'm going to take I'm going to take advantage of this situation here." 21-11, Rams lead, and yep. that dive Again. ball that Tasson serves. Scott's tried to get that back, hit it into the net. 22-11. She makes the team work. She'll make them pull up, and then next thing you know, she's going deep on the serve. Renee Zuckerman checks in for Stemple. Boy, that was a hard That's serve. Good. Good. A line drive serve, and the back row just got a hand up, and it just went right yeah. by him. 23-11. Yeah, when they, they pull up for that serve, and they have to play those because they know she can drop it in there, so they have to make a play on it, even though it's coming so hard. Short serve, Off much court. softer. That's going to be out. <laughs> but boy, Tessa mixes up the speed so well she on hit, that. She went down both lines that time, one after the other. Nice job. Great placement, great speed, got a great drop on the ball. 24-11, Tasson serving for the second set. Rams won the first, 25-11. And she goes to the same spot. 
went to the same spot she did just before. Star, they set it up. Wilson sets it up. Scott's got it. They'll send it back and out. Rams win the second set. Won the first set 25-11. Won the second set 25-11. All right, Rams up two to nothing on uh, both on sets. Let me tell you, I interviewed two players. We've been showcasing uh -huh. players. I know we we showcased uh, McKenna Jackson, Mia Starr the first week. We in, we showcased uh, Lauren Stemple and Kaylani Rosa. Tonight we're going to showcase Sophia Cooper and Elliot Bush. We'll tell you a little bit about Sophia Cooper, the uh, the sophomore. This is her second year on varsity. Before she got to Central Catholic, she played softball, but she gave that up. She's concentrating solely <laughs> on volleyball. She, okay. uh, she told me, I asked her any career path you take. She says, I'm not decided on uh, anything she, yet. You said she's a sophomore. Keeping my options yeah, open. Yeah. Her sister played varsity volleyball here at Central Catholic for two years, and her brother was on the track team here. He was a high jumper. Okay. So, oh, nice, nice. So the sophomore, Sophia Cooper, a name we've been saying a lot tonight. That's right. Is Elliot Bush. And let me tell you, this is her. She's, by the way, she's a junior. It's her third year on varsity. She said she loves volleyball. It'll always be her favorite sport. But she, she's thinking track. Okay. In college. Okay. She is a javelin thrower <laughs> and uh, um, she said she's had she has two sisters and both of them played uh, well, I'm sorry one played volleyball here at Central Catholic uh -huh. and the other ran cross country her parents were both coaches in the CYO league okay what do All you right. think what do you think they coached track Volleyball. 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 Okay. <laughs> she said volleyball runs in my family. Yeah, she, and she's showing it. She started off early tonight. Got some great hits in. You know, made an adjustment after that first one and then just started killing it. You know, the people we've talked to, we've showcased. Look at that. Star will be back. Stemple will be back. Cooper will be back. Bush will be back. Wow. You know, and coaches, coaches getting players into different positions tonight. You know, I, I can see her looking there and going, okay, what will this look like next year already? Right. Alicia Wilson is a sophomore. Delaney Williams is a freshman. Tasson is a junior. And you see Tasson suiting up tonight in the Libro spot, and she does a nice job of digging and passing the ball. Just what you want in a Libro player. All right, ready to get started in the third set. Rams have taken the first two. 25-11, 25-11. On the service for David Douglas, number five, Brooke Lee. The little dink over by Jackson. What did they call it a, what did they call that? I'm not sure. Oh, I didn't see. They signaled an out, but I'm not sure. So one to nothing. Mm -hmm. Douglas has led each set one to nothing. That time Jackson <laughs> dinks it over. What she tried to do the point before, she did there. Yeah, I think what may have happened is the point before, she was a little bit far out, so she might have came on this side of the pole, the outside of the uh, pole on that. I think that's what the call was. You're yeah. right, Steve. Thanks. Stemple on the serve. Oh. Scott may save that. They, they get do. it back over the net. They do. Stemple. Oh, called and it that in. That called in. Big hit that okay. time by Rosa. Was cross court there. She went cross court and it went in. She is looking. She is happy about that. She said, "I get to be up here at the net." Yeah, she doesn't, you know, get, doesn't get to hit often, but she's doing a nice job. Stemple. Scott's going to have to save this. They do. The tip, Jackson. <laughs> Jackson three straight times has tipped the ball over the net. Well, you know they have to. They have to respect her quick set. They have to respect that quick set and her hit. So players were lining up to play that, and she was able to read nicely that there was an open spot there. Three to one Rams. Lauren Stemple on the serve, the left-hander. 
I don't know what's going on. The referee yelling something. Oh. Nice ace serve there. An ace for Stemple. That ball was one of those ones with the top spin that dropped. And Looked like it rolled off the end of a table. Yeah, and she came all the way across court with that left hand on that one. The block. Alicia Wilson and McKenna Jackson up there for the block. Point Rams five to one. Stemple, the hard serve deep. No tip that time by Jackson. So that time she caught him flat-footed, waiting for her to tip, and she decides, okay, I'm gonna hit this one down. No Jack block attempts on that Jackson one. Jackson said, no more of this <laughs> tips, no more dinks. Let me well, blast one. You know, she's reading the defense nicely there. Another nice serve by Stemple. Scott's gotta get this over, they do. Oh, and it drops yeah. in. Nice job that time by the Scots to put that ball in the open court spot there. Dropped in between Wilson and Jackson. <clears throat> Six to two, our score. Scott's on the serve, number 12, Alexis Tomey. Rosa saves it, gotta get it over the net. Jackson, oh, oh she, Jackson hit it into the rack. She knew as soon as she let it, as soon as she hit it, that it was gonna be too hard. Let's see, I gotta go high and I gotta go deep. I went yeah. too high. 6-3. Rosa digs it, Simple sets it, and the dink again by Jackson. Yep. They are just backing off, respecting her. And she's doing a nice job mixing it up. 7-3 Rams. And Wilson gonna go back to serve. Wilson back to serve, 7-3 Rams. Alicia Wilson. Stemple. Rosa sets it on the outside, the hard hit. Scott's keep it in play. Wilson set by Stemple. Rosa with a hard hit. There you go. Boy, she's relishing <laughs> this. You know, she's, she's out there. She's got a chance tonight to play a role she doesn't play normally, and she's taking full advantage of it. 8-3 Rams. Wilson on the serve. And into the net. Oh, Scott's get it over, but Stemple with a hard hit. 9-3 Rams. The sophomore Alicia Wilson on the serve. Yeah, she swings all the way over to the left side of the court. Hard hit. Oh. Get that over. Stemple's going to set it for Jackson. And another powerhouse hit. 10 3. And Jackson's up there already. She's got these nice long arms. She's able to get a good snap on the ball. And the Scots want to take a timeout. Time out, 10 to three in the first set, or third set, Rams have won the first two. I gotta give it to the Scots though. They've been doing some digging back row, saving a lot of balls, keeping them alive. You know, they've been doing a nice job there. Just not able to get enough on those to get them up to the net so the setter can yeah. set it right on the net. Yeah, they, get a they have to go back with a lot of free balls and that lets Central Catholic set up nicely when those free balls come over. 10 to three, Rams lead. Alicia Wilson still on the serve. Oh. 
Oh, a little miscommunication the there. Court, yeah. That ball dropped in between a couple of Ram players. Yeah, they were looking for a setter. I'm not sure who's playing that role right now. They'll talk it over. They'll make an adjustment. That's what they're doing now. Ram's got too many players out there right now. Well, when they're waiting for a sub here. There we go. There we go. So there they go. They talk it over. They see who's going to get that spot. Zuckerman, Stemple on the set, the hard hit, and the end. Oh. Elliot Bush on the hit. Bush goes deep on that one and gets it right there, a little bit before the line. She is having a great night tonight. Cooper checks in. McKenna Jackson on the serve. Boy, she hits it hard. Look at that. Oh, into the net. Yeah, she was falling a little bit away from that hit that time. Didn't get enough on it. 11 to 5, Rams. Going back to serve for the Scots. Number six, Faith Goye. I think this is her first time serving tonight. Pounds the ball off, off of the hardwood. Waiting for the official need to get something, mark something down. Probably a rotation change. The serve. Bush, and that's in. Yeah. Yep. Boy, she's got those corners and that <laughs> back line zeroed in. 12-5. Yeah, I think she hit one long at the beginning and she dialed it in and figured it out and she's been hitting hard and inside ever since. We've seen power tonight from the Rams. 12-5, Rosa to serve. Low and into the net, 12-6. Serving for the Scots, number four, Angelina Acosta. Jackson, Rosa sets it, oh, into the net, 12-7. Oh, long hit on the outside, 12-8. Yeah, she got a little bit underneath that one too much. Costa on the serve, 12-8. Rams lead in the third. And there's the shot, went under the net. And <laughs> Acosta kind of, I couldn't tell, did she slip down or was she just I think she, I think she took her eye, eye off the ball a little bit and got, just barely got the touch on it. So the serve did not go that far. And she was, I, you know. 13-8, Bush on the serve. Rosa gonna set up. A nice block, there's a nice block. Rosa set up Cooper to the block. Point for the Scots. 13-9. Nice job by number seven at the net there, being in the right place, keeping those hands up high. Tori Samambit. Rosa's going to set up. Oh. <laughs> I think Wilson was trying to hit it, and I think she yeah. caught the side of the ball, and it just dropped in for the point. Yeah, she, she, she was off a little bit on her jump there, so she had to make an adjustment in the air, so she was able to get enough on the ball to get, dink it almost right over the blocker. 14-9, and that went out. Point Rams, 15-9. Back to serve, Sophia Cooper. Oh, saved, and wait, 
No, I think they're going to call that when it hit the pole there. I think they called that out like a line. I think so too. That the flag, the linesman had the flag up. Yeah. 16-9 our score. Bush on the serve. Rams lead 16-9. Third set. Rams have the first two. Nice. There's sir. a hit dropped nice in. Sir. An ace for for Sophia Cooper. We have a nice angle up here, and you can see that ball going through the air, and you see it starts dropping. You know. How do you get the top spin on the ball like that? I know if I was a baseball pitcher, I snap the ball it's, downward. Yeah. Basically, that's what they're doing. That wrist is snapping the ball on, when, as soon as they make contact. Sometimes also they will do a under the ball like that to get it down. You'll see that happen when they're doing some um, back row hits or some flat foot hits and not really looking for a kill, but looking to get the ball over with some momentum on it. 17-9, Rams lead. They won the first set, 25-11. They won the second set, Temple, Wilson, Jackson, uh -oh. Williams. Whoa, Williams not. She's a, she's a service too long that time. Yeah, the sub coming in here. Wait a minute, I'm not sure. I don't that, think they, I don't I don't think they called that a serve. I don't think so too. I think time was out. Yeah. And they they were waiting for a sub to come in. Exactly. So we'll do that one over. Sophia Cooper on the serve. Blocked, point Rams. 18-9. Cooper on the serve. Coach Hambly talking to everybody down there. And that goes out off Faith Goy, 19-9. Sophia Cooper, the sophomore, on the serve. The dink saved, dug out by Rosa. They'll set it up. Jackson gonna set it up and take it back and just. Mm. She just kills that ball. She called for that one. She actually called the setter for that one. You know. When you hit it so hard, it knocks the other player down. 20 to nine. Bush on to serve again, and that goes off of the back line. Yep. Yep. Point Rams, 21 to nine. Sophia Cooper, 21 nine. The serve, another hard serve. Rose able to set that. Wilson on the outside, oh, and into the net. Lined up a little bit too deep on that one and had to reach for it and just couldn't get there in time to get, catch it a little bit higher. 21 to 10. Coach makes a little bit of adjustment here. Service, this is Brooke Lee. Dug out. And into the net. 21-11. The so coach is moving the freshman to a setter spot there, and they're, they're working out their rotation here now after the serve goes. Jackson on, on the back line. Brooklyn on the serve. Wilson saves it. Del Delaney Williams saves it over the net. They'll set that up. And Wilson hits it into the net. 21-12. First two sets, Scott's had 11. They got 12 now in this one. 
21-12. And our Libro comes in there. Brooke Lee to serve. Wilson hits that one hard. Over the net. Rosa sets it up. Wilson oh. out. Just out. No, he's calling it in. Oh, wait a minute. Did he call that in? I thought he signaled out. No, I, I don't see. Nope, don't. nope. He, they yeah, put the he, score up yet. Yeah, he called it in. It in. Point for the Rams. Rosa. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice save that time by Delaney Williams. Jackson, they set it up for Jackson <laughs> who just tips it over. Oh, a long hit that time by Rosa. 22 to 12. Point for the Scots. Serve, number 12, Alexis Tomey into the net. Point Rams, 23-13. Reagan Zuckerman checks in. Nice save that time. They set it up for Rosa and she hit it long. Yeah, she's getting a little bit down on it. I think that I think it's bouncing off the top of the net, just getting enough lift that carries it too deep there. She's got the adrenaline going. Oh yeah, she's loving being able to hit tonight. The serve. Nice save, they'll set it up again for Rosa. They're gonna give it to her. And she hits it. And yeah. just, just in front of the back line, yeah. point Rams. 24-14, set point, match point coming up. Okay, so McKenna Jackson to serve. Rosa did a nice job adjusting there to get that ball in. That's deep. And okay. that's gonna be way deep. Okay. 24-15. I think Jackson was smiling, although it's hard to tell with the mask mm -hmm. on. 24-15 Rams. Back to serve, this is Faith Goy. Into the net. That's Not it. They won it there. That's it. Rams take the third set, 25-15. Rams win three sets to none. Take the first set, 25-11. Take the second set, 25-11. And take the third set, 25-15. Steve, your thoughts? You know, David Douglas did a nice job tonight keeping the ball live. They did a lot of nice big plays off the court, bringing it back on, getting the ball over. The Rams did a nice job finding the spots. They made adjustments when they needed to make adjustments. They mixed it up a lot. You know, we got some great hits out of some different players tonight. And, you know, it's a good game. I think they're ready to go into the postseason strong right now. Rams remain undefeated, only losing two sets all season long. Those first, that first match of the first game of the season against Clackamas when they won three to two. But since then, they have been perfect and they were perfect tonight. Rams have two games left next week. Those are both away games. One against West Lynn and one against Jesuit. By the way, Jesuit is the alma mater of Coach Hambly. Ah, so. It's always nice as a coach to go back and coach against your alma mater. <laughs> exactly. You know, you kind of get a little bit of a, 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 a nudge in your back there. You got to prove something. All right, got some people we're going to thank tonight. I want to thank the athletic department here at Central Catholic High School for their help. Head coach Kayla Hambly, who uh, generously makes players available for me and talks and gives me some information before the start of the game tonight. Our crew, our uh, 
director, Alva Myers, our cameraman, Ellery Nelson, my broadcast partner, Steve Roberts. Again, we have things coming up this uh, uh, next few days here on Oregon Sports Beat. Saturday afternoon, we have football. We have a couple of games. Steve and I will be doing the game between Roosevelt and Lincoln at 1230. So if you want to catch that. Then uh, Saturday night at 9 o'clock, the um, American Futsal League has gotten started. It's a professional futsal league. They have four teams on the West Coast, Portland, Los Angeles, um, Phoenix, and Albuquerque. Los Angeles is here Saturday night. And uh, Steve and I will be doing that game, so turn in and catch that. Next Monday night, we're going to do Central Catholic Boys Soccer. soccer we will be at LaSalle Prep, one mm -hmm. of the outstanding soccer teams in the state to cover that. Go to our website, OregonSportsBeat.com, and you'll get our schedule for April. So again, thanks for joining us here. I'm Dave Hall, again, from Central Catholic High School, from the gym. The Rams remain undefeated. They sweep the David Douglas Scots in three sets, 25-11, 25-11, and 25-15. Good night, everybody. <laughs>